were playing kitchen. And I hit you on the head with that little rolling pin. And then my mom said that it was not nice not to share because sharing was caring. I'm done with my water bottle. What do I do with it? Just throw it somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> Careless acts can significantly harm the environment. Every bottle or any type of plastic being thrown out has a huge impact. Plastic takes more than 100 years to decompose, and yet they still remain in shape for a long time. By not taking care of our environment, we're putting millions of animals in danger of death. Hundreds and thousands of deaths every day in landfills and especially in our oceans. Approximately more than 10 million tons of plastic are being dumped in the ocean by us. By just one bottle of plastic, you could be affecting or killing off thousands of species and animals. And that could consequently come back to affect us if we don't act now. We can come together as a community and start recycling and picking up trash around you. Get involved. Use reusable bags when shopping, reusable bottles when exercising, conserve water, plant trees, educate others on the issue. Working together, we can prevent the millions of deaths every year due to our careless choices that we are not taking care of today. Little things can make a big difference. Act now. Hey, did you guys see that new rule they decided to pass? No, why? What was it about? It was some rule saying that the fifth graders couldn't play video games anymore. That's not cool. Right? But guys, if you agree, can you just say it together? Yeah, we want change. We want change. Together, we the people. We want change. Together, we the people. No, that's so dumb. I don't want people to play games at all. Why? Why not? Because if the kids are at home playing video games, they're not at the park for me to pull. I think we should be able to let the fifth graders do whatever they want. No, shut up! Why can't you speak? Is there any way that you can use your voice again? Do you remember what I was talking about? The preamble? It says we the people. It tells you to speak up and use your voice. The founding father used the we the people to establish more things before establishing the Either way, there's just one of you. That is not true. Yeah, but no one cares. Don't have to listen to you guys anyway. According to the preamble, at best, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish this constitution of the United States of America. Meaning, we speak up and secure many things for ourselves. Yeah, he's right. Wow, you found your voice.
Good afternoon, Phoenix. Welcome to our second virtual Phoenix Awards ceremony, but this time we are live on YouTube. My name is Valeria Aguilar. And my name is Ethan Chacon. Welcome to today's live award ceremony. We will be guiding you to which students receive an award from each category of classes we have here at MEX, and we will also announce the students who have received scholarships. You may come and down on our live chat to cheer your friends and say hello to your fellow classmates. Please be careful and respectful during the award ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Ethan, for addressing that. Before we start, our principal Ortega has a special message for all of you watching and for our students that receive an award. Now on to Mr. Ortega. Good evening, Phoenix family. This is Mr. Ortega, and although we have been apart for almost going on a year and a half now, every single day you guys continue to aim high, to be successful, and to continue those traditions that MEX has of being first and best. We are so proud of all your achievements and everything you have worked so hard for this year. And tonight, we want to be able to honor everything you have done and recognize you because you all deserve it. Your teachers, the staff, our administrative team are all very, very proud of you. And we thank you for continuing to represent MEX as the first and best. Thank you, Mr. Ortega. Each teacher has provided a short message for all of their awarded students. Those videos will be played at their designated time. Shall we get started? Yes, we shall. Quick disclaimer, if we butcher your names, please excuse us. We are trying our best. First, we would like to begin with our English teachers, which consist of Ms. Diaz, Ms. Aguilar, Ms. Vandevoort, and Mr. Michelle. The first award is from Ms. Diaz Freshman English 1 class, and the award goes to... Danielle... Garcia. Congratulations, Daniel, on getting a uh, student of the year. Uh, very proud of you. You are an excellent student, always willing to participate, and I appreciate that about you. Congratulations again. Next, we have Mrs. Aguilar's sophomore English class. The award goes to Stephen Kelly. This year's English 2 Student of the of the Year Award is Stephen Kelly for English 2 for Ms. Aguilar's class. I chose Stephen Kelly because he is dedicated and motivated, and he represents the true spirit of a phoenix. The work he turns in is excellent, and he is always dedicated and motivated to achieve the highest in his class. And I am truly impressed by the work and his um motivation that he submits to his class every single day. Thank you, Stephen, for being an awesome student. Next, we have Ms. Vandervoort's Junior English 3 Dual Credit Class. The award goes to... Valentina Basave. Congratulations to the Dual Credit English 3 Student of the Year, Valentina Basave. Valentina, you come from a class with a lot of really good writers, but from the beginning of this year, you have impressed me with your insight and your wisdom and your ability to craft a good sentence. So congratulations to you. Next, we have Mr. Michelle, Senior AP English Literature class. The award goes to Rachel Shodopi. Congratulations, Rachel, for being the student of the year for AP English Literature and Composition. You always brought great enthusiasm to your classes, and you always showed great quality in the work that you turned in. Now we're moving on to our history teachers. Our history teachers are number one, Mr. Renteria, number two, Mr. Warswick, number three, Ms. Wallet, and number four, Ms. Diaz. The first word is Mr. Renteria's freshman AP Human Geography class. And the award goes to Nicole Fonseca. Ms. Fonseca, congratulations on being the AP Human Geography Student of the Year. Although there was a lot of competition uh, amongst your classmates from the class of 2024, you do stand out. Just want to say keep up the good work and keep pushing. Next we have Mr. Warswick's Sophomore World History class. The award goes to... 
Ethan Alvarez. All right, so Ethan Alvarez, what can I say about him? Um, pretty much the perfect history student, as far as I'm concerned. Ethan doesn't talk a lot, you know, he doesn't come in and say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. He just gets the work done, and I know if Ethan does it, it's going to be top-notch, top quality. So congratulations on being the World History Student of the Year. Now we have Miss Wallet's Government 2305 Dual Credit Class. The award goes to... Maya Soto. I chose Maya to be um, one of my students of the year this year because she's done a great job in both government classes. She's engaged. She's always following up on assignments, really trying her best. And I appreciate all the effort that you put in this year, Maya. Um, I know it's been a difficult year, but you've done a really great job. And thank you. And for Miss Wallace Government 2306 Dual Credit Class, the award goes to... Juan Nguyano. So I chose Juan because he's been an excellent government student all year in both of my government courses. He is interested, he's engaged, and he's really been a pleasure to have in class, even through all of our virtual mess this year. Um, so thank you, Juan, for being such a great student. I really appreciate all the time and effort you put into class. Next, we have Mrs. Diaz, Jr., U.S. History Dual Credit Class. The award goes to... Martin Quintana. Congratulations, Martin Quintana. Um, you actually really deserve this. It's always really nice when your students actually want to participate, and you definitely have been one student that is always willing to par participate knows exactly what is going on, is always willing to do the work, and does it with a big smile. So thank you very much for a wonderful year and for making this year a lot easier. Now we have Mr. Renteria's economic class, and the award goes to... Wonderful Oyabami. Wonderful. Congratulations on being the student of the year for the economics class. In class, you always brought some real life experience, which added to the lessons and the chapters. I'm really proud of you for doing everything you have done this year. And just want to say one more time, congrats. Now we are moving on to our science teachers. Our science teachers are number one, Ms. Flores. Number two, Dr. Alvarez. Number three, Ms. Blau. Number four, Mr. Castrita. And number five, Ms. Ordones. The first award is Ms. Flores Freshman Pre-AP Biology Lecture Class. The award goes to... Chelsea. Congratulations, Chelsea, for receiving the Student of the Year Award for Pre-AP Biology Lecture. I really enjoyed getting to know you this year and your dedication and the excellent work that you submit uh, made you an easy choice for the recipient so again, congratulations. For Ms. Flores Dual Credit Biology, the award goes to... Yaritza Garcia. Congratulations, Yaritza, for earning the Student of the Year Award for Dual Credit Biology Lecture. Uh, you are an amazing, outstanding student. I really have enjoyed getting to know you and... Uh, hearing your um, responses when we do participation in class. And plus, I love your uh, croc collection. <laughs> so again, congratulations for earning the award for dual credit biology lecture. Next, we have Dr. Alvarez freshman biology lab class. The award goes to... Alexia Segoviano. Next, we have Ms. Blau's sophomore chemistry class. The award goes to... Luis Franco. Now, we have Ms. Ordonez's health class. And the award goes to... Rysine White. Congratulations, Rysine. You've been chosen as my 2021 Student of the Year in Health class because of your dedication and dependability. Keep it up. Bye. 
Next, we have Mr. Costritas Junior AP Physics class. The award goes to Martin Quintana. Hello. When given the task to choose the AP Physics Student of the Year, a lot of names came to mind. Um, I've had uh, a lot of great, great students over the course of the year. But there's a name that came coming up to mind, and um, the, the and it, it was through his uh, great um, processing of the information, asking for questions whenever he um, needed some clarification, and even going the extra mile to uh, make sure that he was ready to take the AP exam at the end of the year. Um, I, the, the person I decided to choose was uh, Martin Quintana and I truly believe uh, that this honor is uh, or, or this award should be uh, given to you because of your great work, hard work and great dedication to the class and, I, and, and what makes it more amazing is that I know from speaking to other teachers that um, you have that same uh, dedication in other classes as well. So Mr. Martin, congratulations. It's an honor to name you uh, AP Physics Student of the Year. Coming up, we have Ms. Ardonis Senior Anatomy and Physiology class. And the award goes to Delilah Juarez. Congratulations, Delilah. You've been chosen as my 2021 Anatomy and Physiology Student of the Year because of your dedication, dependability, and leadership. Congratulations again, and Godspeed. Bye. Next, we have Ms. Flores AP Environmental Science class. The award goes to Maria Fernanda Hernandez. Congratulations, Maria Fernanda, for earning the Student of the Year Award for AP Environmental Science. You have done an outstanding job this year uh, with keeping up with all of your assignments um, and participating when we have different discussions in class. And I really enjoyed seeing the different uh, projects that you have submitted for class. So again, congratulations for earning this award. Now we are moving on to our math teachers. Number one, we have Ms. Guzman. Number two, Mr. Hernandez. Number three, Mr. Maldonado. And number four, Mr. Saldivar. The first award is from Ms. Guzman's Freshman Algebra 1 class, and the award goes to... Daniel Garcia. For my Algebra 1 student, it's Daniel Garcia. I nominate you for this award because... You're one of my smartest Algebra 1 students I ever had. And I don't mind getting all the compliments you give me throughout class. So it's a very deserving award. For Ms. Guman's Algebra 2 class, the award goes to... Yaritza Garcia. For my Algebra 2 student, Yaritza Garcia. Yaritza, I love your attitude. You're so positive. Every time I ask a question, you answer. That is awesome. I also love the emails that you send me. They always put me in a good mood. Very deserving. Next, we have Mr. Maldonado's Algebra 2 class. The award goes to... Amaris Cortez. Uh, I would like to congratulate Amaris for her grace and effort that she did during this year. She finished the course of uh, pre-AP Algebra 2 with a perfect 100. Congratulations, Amaris. Going to Mr. Hernandez's pre-AP Geometry class, the award goes to <laughs> Tiffany Dean. Congratulations, Tiffany Dean, for being Geometry uh, Student of the Year. Uh, your Hard work has paid off, 
So thank you for having such a successful year. Next, we have Mr. Maldonado's pre-AP geometry class, and the award goes to Mia Huerta. Uh, it was a very difficult decision because during the year, I had three students who finished with a perfect 100 in geometry. She, this girl did a phenomenal job, not only academically, but in punctuality and behavior. Congratulations, Mia. And Mr. Saldivar's pre-AP calculus class, the award goes to Enrique Flores. Being a math teacher makes it really easy to decide who the student of the year is because I let the numbers do the talking. And Enrique, out of the five pre-AP, pre-cal classes that I'm teaching, you're the one with the highest average. So congratulations. Keep up the good work. Next, we have Mr. Saldivar's dual credit pre-calculus class. The award goes to... Alexis Chere. Ms. Chere, yet one more reason math is awesome. It makes it really easy to pick the student of the year because I let the numbers do the talking. So I was looking at my grades for the pre-cal class, the dual credit class, and you were by far the highest average. So congratulations, you deserve it. Keep up the good work. In Mr. Saldivar's dual credit business math class, the award goes to Jessica Vidaur. Miss Jessica with a Y. You know, being a math teacher makes it really easy to pick the student of the year. You know why? Because I let the numbers do the talking. So I was looking at the grades for our class, and you were by far the person with the highest average. So. Congratulations, you earned it. Next, we are moving on to our business teachers. Our business teachers are number one, Mr. Chavaria, number two, Mr. Munoz, and number three, Mr. Butler. The first award is the Mr. Munoz BIM 1 class. The award goes to Andrea Moreno. Next, we have Mr. Chavaria's BIM 2 class, and the award goes to Catherine Gonzalez. Next, we have Mr. Butler's financial literacy class. The award goes to Diego Mendoza. Alrighty, I just want to say congratulations to my first student that we chose, Diego Mendoza. Thank you for doing a great job in Money Matters. You did a very good job of impressing me on your final essay. Um, where you summarized everything that we taught you this school year. So thank you. And for Mr. Butler's Education 1300 class, the award goes to... Abel Ochoa. Congratulations, Abel. You did a great job in getting the certificate for um, Education 1300. From day one, I loved all your energy that you brought to our classroom. You were never shy about turning on your camera. And you always went above and beyond, so thank you very much. And Mr. Chavaria's business practicum class, the award goes to <laughs> Sheila Rico. Next, we are moving on to our physical education teachers. We present Ms. Perez. The first award for Ms. Perez's aerobics class, the award goes to <laughs> Melody Robles. aerobic student of the year that goes to Melody Robles. Mel, I'm super proud of you. Even though I had you twice, I had you every day, you still gave me 110% every time. So I want you to know that that did not go unnoticed and that you are very deserving of this award. So congratulations on being my aerobics student of the year. For Ms. Perez weight class, the award goes to <laughs> Julian Medina. And for my weight student of the year, that goes to Julian Medina. You are amazing. 
with the energy that you come in every morning doing 110 percent and then going for your run afterwards i couldn't have asked for a better student of the year for weight so you keep doing your thing i know i'll have you next year but you keep exercising and doing the best that you can do and being the best you that you can be so congratulations julian for miss Betis pe class the award goes to Vanessa Ortiz. And for my PE student of the year, that goes to Vanessa Ortiz. Vane, not only were you my PE student of the year, but you are my manager of the year. So I had to include that. You are going to be missed. I don't know what I'm going to do without you, but you are so deserving of everything. And I am so proud of the young woman that you have become and grown into. So I wish you well. Um, it's not over yet, but I know you have big things planned. So good luck with that. And thank you for being an amazing student. Love you. Now on to our Spanish classes. Our teachers are number one, Miss Contreras. Number two, Miss De La Cruz. And the first award is from Miss Contreras Spanish One Native Class. The award goes to Viene de la Rosa. Um, es un honor para mí uh, presentar este premio para el estudiante del año para Viene de la Rosa, estudiante de español uno para hispanohablantes. Vianey siempre se ha distinguido desde un principio por ser una estudiante responsable con una actitud muy positiva y siempre, siempre ha mantenido sus calificaciones muy altas. Um, la manera en la que seleccioné al estudiante del año es por el, la estudiante que tuvo el promedio más alto durante todo el año y pues Vianey lo logró. Así que muchas felicidades para Vianey. Te felicito mucho por este logro y espero que así continúes. Muchas gracias. For Miss Contreras Spanish to Native Class, the award goes to Mylin Mendoza. Um, este premio uh, se lo otorgo al estudiante del año para la clase de español 2 para hispanohablantes por segundo año consecutivo a Mylin Mendoza. Melin siempre se ha distinguido por ser una estudiante excelente, responsable, respetuosa, um, muy cumplida. Siempre, siempre ha entregado sus tareas a tiempo. Uh, siempre ha mantenido un promedio muy alto. Así es de que es un honor, un gran honor para mí entregarle este premio del estudiante del año a May. May, te felicito mucho y espero que sigas así en, tus, en todos tus estudios y que logres todo lo que te propongas. Muchas felicidades. Next we have Ms. De La Cruz, Spanish One Non-Native Class. The award goes to... Samantha Viduar. It is with a great pleasure that I present the Student of the Year Award for my Spanish One Non-Native Student. Samantha Vidaure. Samantha has always been a wonderful, wonderful student. She has always uh, demonstrated um, an eagerness to, to learn the language. She's very responsible. And um, Samantha always maintained an A average in my class. So I am very, very proud of her accomplishments in Spanish One non-natives, and I hope that you continue being the great student that you've been this year, next year in Spanish too. Thank you, Samantha, and good luck. Congratulations. From Ms. De La Cruz, Spanish Two non-native class, the award goes to Genesis Carrillo. Congratulations, Genesis Carrillo. Thank you so much for being such an awesome student this year. It's been such a pleasure having you in my class. You always turn in assignments on time or sometimes even way before the due date. I am so proud of you. Such an honor being your teacher this year. Congratulations again, Genesis Carrillo. For Ms. De La Cruz, AP Spanish Language and Culture class, the award goes to Nicole Fonseca. Congratulations, Nicole Fonseca. You did such an awesome job this year in my AP class. 
You are so talented. You always went way ab above and beyond to do the best in all of your assignments. I am so proud of you. Great job. Congratulations on being this year's Student of the Year. Now we're moving on to our electives. Our elective teachers are number one, Mr. Dungan, number two, Mr. Brewer, number three, Ms. De La Cruz, and number four, Ms. Ordanis. The first award is the Mr. Brewer's Choir Class, and the award goes to Natalia Ontiveros. Congratulations, Natalia. Thank you so much for all the work you've done in my choir classes. You're really a beautiful singer. Uh, really, you know, sometimes I, I know what you've done in solo and ensemble and the beauty that you do with your voice with that. That's always been great. And doing uh, all of the other activities we've done, super job. But this year when you did your videos here uh, towards this second semester, I really fell in love with your voice. Beautiful job. I want you to please keep that going. You're capturing the emotion with your voice so much, and it's just a great job. You're receiving the Choir Student of the Year Award. I appreciate you very much. Thank you, and congratulations. For Mr. Brewer's guitar class, the award goes to... Adrian Ramirez. Mr. Adrian Ramirez, I really congratulate you. You're receiving the Guitarist of the Year Award and I really appreciate all the tough work you've done over the years in my classes and trying out for solo and ensemble, making state solo and ensemble. Really appreciate that. You're really a strong, strong student and a good worker. And I know you, I really like your, your performance when you're doing your, your own music, like when you're practicing um, some cover songs and stuff. Really good job. You've got a great future on guitar. Please keep it up, and I know you will. But congratulations, okay? Thank you so much, Adrian. It's been a pleasure having you in class. For Mr. Brewer's piano class, the award goes to... Linda Alvarado. Congratulations, Linda Alvarado. I've given you the Student of the Year Award for your piano class. Uh, I know you could share this with Kayla, but I really appreciate you coming on campus. It's nice to have you in two classes, and I think you're doing a really good job, and I, I really appreciate your positive attitude and the nice things you, you do for class and things. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful year. You deserve this award. Thank you. For Miss Brewer's orchestra class, the award goes to... Viviana Thoris. Viviana, thank you so much for being a student at Mission Early College High School. You are such a fantastic musician and so talented in so many different ways. Um, the one regret I have is I haven't heard your singing as much as I need to hear, but your piano playing is so fantastic, and you do great on the viola and vi violin too. I wish you the best of luck in majoring in music, and I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful couple of years and then you're you're moving on i'm sure to a master's degree and perhaps a doctor's degree very 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 talented person you are thank you and congratulations you are our piano student of the year and my orchestra student of the year as far as i'm concerned you are super student thank you so much have a great great summer break take some time off for yourself and good luck at state soul and ensemble next we have is de la cruz avid class the award goes to Fernanda Garcia. Congratulations, Fernanda Garcia. Fernanda, thank you so much for making my day every single day in AVID. You are so funny, so caring, always checking on your classmates, um, tell, telling us your daily jokes. I am so proud of you. Congratulations on being this year's Student of the Year. In Ms. Ardonis, AVID 2 class, the award goes to... Javier Caballero. Congratulations, Javier. You've been chosen as my AVID Student of the Year because of your dedication and dependability. Keep it up. Bye-bye. Next, we have Mr. Dungan's Leadership Class. The award goes to... to our very own classmate, Andrea Nunez. Congratulations, Andrea Nunez, my Leadership Student of the Year. Uh, you led so many projects, and you really put all of your effort and time into making the campus better. Now on to our dual credit class. The award is from Mr. Dungan's speech class, and the award goes to... 
Atenas Ramos. Congratulations, Atenas Ramos, my speech student of the year. I'm so proud of you. You gave fantastic presentations and you really put your full heart into it. Congratulations to all the students who received the Phoenix Award in the class category. Up next, we have the awards for clubs and organizations at MEX. Before we move on to that section of the ceremony, we will transition into our annual Mr. and Ms. Mission winners. We will be right back for more Phoenix Awards. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the annual Mr. and Ms. Mission pageant. I'm your host, Kiana Diaz. I'm Aaliyah Metter. We are so excited to be hosting this short segment in the awards. Before we begin, we would like to thank the people who made this possible. Thank you to Omar Garcia for putting the live stream together. Thank you to Mr. Dungan for allowing us to pursue with our annual pageant. And to our contestants for constantly showing their Phoenix spirit. Now let us explain how this will be working. We'll be having four different categories, casual wear, formal wear, and showing a talent in a Q&A section. At the end, our viewers will be commenting on our live chats who will be crowned the next Mr. and Miss Mission. Let's begin. Our first category is casual wear. Here are the contestants showcasing their casual wear. First up, we have Janice Rodriguez. Stephanie Miranda. Next we have Maritza Lopez. Next we have Christian Landis. Next, we have Noy Ramirez. Next, we have Abel Ochoa. Didn't they all look so good? Next, we have Formal Wear. Next up, we have Abel Ochoa. Next, we have Christian Valdez. Next, we have Janice Rodriguez. Next, we have Noy Ramirez. Next, we have Stephanie Miranda. They blew me away. Up next is the talent portion. We see a whole variety of different talents that our Phoenix family holds. Our first contestant, we have Alan Reyes. Let us see his guitar skills. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Amazing, Alan. Next, we have Christian Valdez. He has very special arms. Let's see his talent. I'm Christian Valdez. Some of you might know me, some may not. All right. But, anyways, my special talent um, I got double jointed shoulders, which means they're hyper flexible. Like what normally a person would be only be able to reach, like that go that far I can go this far which means I can do like weird stuff I can also like pretty much jump rope with my arms not really jump more like walk right so like you can hold your arms right here go underneath go underneath again you're still holding Turn it off and get done with it. Oh, okay. Boom. Still held on. That was crazy. Jump <laughs> Whoa, that was crazy. Yeah, that was really impressive. Next, we have Maritza Lopez. Let's see her talented singing and piano skills. That was beautiful, Maritza. Great job. Great job, Maritza. Next, we have Noe Ramirez. Let's see his boxing talent. Those boxing skills are amazing. Great job, Noe. Our last talent show contestant is Stephanie Mira. Let's see her talented archery skills. Well, Stephanie, that was amazing. Great job, Stephanie.
question portion. We ask the contestants all the same question and ask for their genuine unresearched answer. The question is, what is the biggest problem facing youth today? These are their responses. First up is Abel. We came across him on campus and we asked him the following question. Hi Abel, what do you think is the biggest problem facing youth today? One of the biggest problems when it comes to young people is that we don't know what to do with other people's opinions. Either times that it comes to hatred or we just, you know, bully other people for those opinions and then that's not okay. Now, of course, you gotta remember that everyone's gonna have their different opinion no matter what. No one has to agree with you. No one has, no one, no one has to disagree, no one has to agree. Everyone has their own mind and their own person. No one has to agree with your opinions, you know, the lifestyle that you agree with. No one has to, as long as you're keeping to yourself and you're not providing any sort of hatred, you should be fine along the wall. Great response, Abel. Thank you for your time and nice seeing you on campus. Next up is Christian Valdez. Hi Christian, what do you think is the biggest problem facing youth today? What do I think is the biggest problem facing young people today? I would probably say the biggest problem facing young people today is confidence. A lot of kids lack confidence and they, they need more of it. Some people are afraid to talk to other people just because they're afraid of being judged. Uh, on like what they like, their personal tastes. And I think, you know what, if everyone was just more confident, we could reach higher places in the world. Everyone would be a lot more happier, a lot more uh, willing to be able to get out of their comfort circle and just do more with each other. We could do a lot more if we were just more confident. Great response, Christian. Great job, Christian. Next up, we have Noe Ramirez. Hi, Noe. What do you think is the biggest problem facing youth today? All right, so um, the biggest problem with today's youth would probably be, be um, procrastination because um, like on my own experiences, I struggle with that a lot. Great response, Noe. Great job, Noe. Next and final contestant is Stephanie Miranda. Hi, Stephanie. What do you think is the biggest problem facing youth today? Hello, my name is Stephanie. And in my personal opinion, the biggest issue that our youth is facing nowadays is having the ability to have critical thinking skills and communication skills. There's not much to face, face contact nowadays. And we have relied so much on technology to do that communication for us for the past years or so. Our youth has also depended so much on technology for researching, for knowing how to find things and figuring things out on our own without the need of a tablet or a phone or a computer. Great response, Stephanie. Great job, Stephanie. Next and final contestant is Janice Rodriguez. Hi, Janice. What do you think is the biggest problem facing youth today? Hi, my name is Janice Rodriguez, and the problem that I think is facing today's youth is the education system, just because of the way that we are graded, you know, through tons of exams, and personally, I don't think they're always that accurate as to measuring how intelligent one student is, or how creative they are, or how well they do in a certain field of their choice, and as well as how expensive it is, because it's pretty much, you know, a requirement now for someone to excel, you know, in their career in today's age and society when it is extremely expensive and almost everybody graduates with exceedingly high debt and um, they end up spending the rest of their lives paying off this debt and it can be very detrimental to them you know financially and they can be paying off these student loans until they're in their middle ages you know which is not the ideal situation so i think the biggest problem facing today is the education system great response janice Great job, Janice. I think the biggest problem or issue facing the young generation today is mental health. More is expected from young, from the young generation today. Uh, from t having good grades in school, 
keeping up with homework, you know, taking care of siblings, doing chores and many other things that they have to do in their day-to-day -day life, you know. On top of that, they have to deal with maybe family issues, past trauma, society's expectations, and many other things going on in today's society because it's very different from how things used to be before. I think this all slowly starts to add up on the young generation, on young people, you know, all that pressure and things going on around them, they start to build up, build up, build up, and then eventually it starts to affect them, you know. And some people are too overwhelmed and they don't know what to do. And they're too scared to just ask for help because maybe they're going to be judged by, maybe they're afraid to be judged by their friends, by society, their parents, you know, or somebody else. And I think the best way to fix this is awareness. Why? In order, you, we need to normalize seeking out help and giving it as well, you know. Something you can do is, is something as simple as just asking your friend if their day was all right, you know, asking if everything is good at home or just if they're feeling all right, you know. So I think mental, mental health problems need to be more normalized in today's society because I think it's more uh, seen uh, and it should be seen as a normal thing, not as something to be judged as, but as something that you need to help people for, you know. So you watching this, it's okay to not feel all right. It's, it's okay to not be good sometimes, you know. So seek out your friends, seek out your loved ones, ask them for help. I'm sure they're more than happy to help you. To me, the biggest problem in our youth is mental health. A lot of young people and adults are not educated on these issues and it is very important because many young people have this problem. Many young people will also feel dismissed and not understood because they don't fully understand what is going on with them and other people who they would seek for help don't fully understand what is going on with them. This is very important because mental health and mental problems could ultimately lead to suicide and we would want to keep those rates down for sure. Mental illness goes way beyond depression and anxiety and it's very important to understand what is going on and what each individual is going through so that we can fully understand everything going on with their brain and how to help them. There are many great ways to educate ourselves through podcasts, through documentaries, through books, and all of these resources, just to name a few, are very important when it comes to learning about everything and understanding what we need to understand when it came to mental health. We are told many times to talk about our problems and to confide in people. However, it is nearly impossible to reach that help and find that help if people are not fully educated on what is going on and how to help others. Hearing our Phoenix responses and their point of view is truly inspiring. It truly was, Aaliyah. Now to our viewers, it's time to vote. There's a link in the live stream description where you will be able to vote who will get crowned as Mr. and Miss Mission. Go and vote. We will be back in approximately two minutes.
time is up. There was a lot of votes. Thank you, guys. Whoa, there was. Well, that concludes our Mr. and Miss Mission segment in today's award ceremony. Award ceremony. We will announce who will get crowned soon on Instagram. Now on to Ethan and Valeria. Bye, guys. Bye. Congratulations, Leila. You got our award for BPA, uh, Officer of the Year, Member of the Year. Um, thank you for being our best president we could have this school year, and thank you for everything you've done for BPA. Okay, congratulations, Michael. You did it. Um, you are Officer and Member of the Year for NTHS. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for being the uh, local or our regional uh, vice president for our club and the actual president of BPA for our region. So keep up the good work, and thank you for everything. Hi, I'd like to announce this year's uh, Destination Imagination Student of the Year. Um, I have uh, had the pleasure to work uh, with her throughout these years, and um, every year, her uh, dedication, her um, perseverance is what makes DI what it is. And for that reason, I would like to congratulate um, Janice Rodriguez for uh, being an awesome, awesome team captain, um, working through uh, whatever conflicts, uh, they had to overcome um, and they did it with great passion and and, and uh, always looking for the best. So Ms. Janice, congratulations. Um, you are uh, this year's DI Student of the Year um, and you really embrace um, the, the motto of DI that there is no problems, just solutions. And I know you're going to be uh, extremely, extremely successful in in your uh, future endeavors. So, congratulations and have a great rest of the year. Congratulations, Queenie Trin. Um, you deserve this award for UIL because. You're always on top of your game. You're always emailing me, asking me what's going on with UIL, making sure that we put the information out there for our students to hear, looking to recruit, looking for ways to uh, fundraise. So you have been such a backbone in the UIL program for the two last two years, and I'm really going to miss you. So congratulations again, and I wish you nothing but the best next year. Congratulations, Jonathan Mendoza, my ACADEC Student of the Year. You put so much heart into our team and led us to success, and you earned medals at the state level. I'm really proud of you. Congratulations, Alexis Tre, for being High Q Student of the Year. You are so fun to work with, and you have a plethora of knowledge and trivia right up here. We're proud of you. Congratulations, Omar Garcia, our Mex News Broadcast Student of the Year for years now. And we are so proud of you, Omar. You really made so many things happen this year in special and unique ways and the broadcast is a better thing because of you. Congratulations, Itzel De La Cruz, our Student Council Student of the Year. You participated in countless projects. You flew under the radar, but you were there making the campus better, making Student Council better, and we all appreciate it.
Congratulations, Denise, for earning the Student of the Year Award for Environmental Club. You really stepped up this year with your leadership skills and helping the club to have different kinds of activities and different kinds of events. And I look forward to continuing to work with you in the years to come as your leadership roles uh, continue to grow in Environmental Club. Congratulations. Congratulations, Abby, for earning the Student of the Year Award for SNHS. Uh, your leadership has been tremendous this year, helping keep us on track, helping with the organization of different activities and different point opportunities. And I really enjoyed working with you over the past few years for SNHS. Congratulations. <music> Congratulations to Alexa for the Key Club Student of the Year. Even though it was a difficult year for Key Club to do its work, you still managed to sustain it throughout the COVID year and still do great things for our community and our school. flames flame of the year that is going to go to my captain Janice Rodriguez I am so proud of the young woman she has become since her sophomore year she has literally been the glue behind our team this year um, and she is very deserving of this award doing things online and learning routines and teaching and cleaning was definitely a task and she did not let that get the best of her so she led her team as a captain should, and she was right there beside me, and I couldn't have asked for a better captain. I am blessed to be your coach. So congratulations as Flame of the Year, Janice. Love you, Mama. Congratulations to the Student of the Year in National Honor Society. That would be Andrea Valise. Andrea, you've had a lot of good officers to work with, but I have been impressed with your enthusiasm and your energy, and I'm so glad that I get you to have you again next year. So thank you for being a wonderful officer this year. Congratulations to the Drama Club Member of the Year, Student of the Year, um, Vanessa Ortiz. Vanessa, you've had two really good people serving along with you the last few years, but I want to thank you for keeping us going through the pandemic, for encouraging us, for wanting us to perform even when it was lots harder. So thank you so much for all that you've done this year to make Drama Club continue to be part of this campus. <music> Yearbook Student of the Year is Aaliyah Vetter. Aaliyah, you were the very first person that I asked to be on the yearbook staff, and I am thrilled to death that you agreed. Um, and I want to thank you for all the work that you've put into everything this year. It hasn't been easy just having a small staff, and you have stepped up and made things work. So thank you very much. <music> Um, Christian Rivetta, wow. What can I say about Christian? He's been in mock trial two years, part of our state qualifying team, and I've not seen a witness or an accent that Christian cannot do. Christian is the perfect uh, witness. This guy, he should be an actor, and when he wins that Academy Award, you better give me a shout out, Christian. Good job and congratulations.
That is all the awards we have to present. We hope you enjoy today's live virtual Student of the Year award ceremony. And congratulations to all the students who received an award and to all the students receiving those scholarships as well. Your teachers, your family, and the rest of your Phoenix family are all proud of your hard work. Thank you. Congratulations to all of you. This concludes our virtual Student of the Year award ceremony this afternoon. Pick up days and times will be announced soon. Make sure to stay tuned with our Instagram accounts and our morning announcements to when to pick up your award. Thank you for joining us today, and we would appreciate if you guys comment down what you liked about today's live stream. You guys are more than welcome to stay and chat for a couple of minutes while the credits roll. Bye, guys. Have a great rest of your night and weekend. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you for joining.